Welcome back to the shop, everyone. Client brought us in a chair with a damaged rush seat. For those of you that don't know, rush is a material that feels like thin cardboard that has been twisted into a thick string. This is then weaved around all four corners of the seat. I've watched my father do this a hundred times, but I've never done this myself. So my father thought it would be a great time to learn. We are currently stabilizing the chair seat using some equal sized boards we had laying around and clamping them to the work table. We were lucky this time that we actually were able to take the seat bottom off of the chair. A lot of times the whole chair will be in the way making the weaving difficult. We'll be showing an example of that in a future video. By the way, all the footage came from our live stream that we now do every Saturday and Sunday on Twitch TV. I'll put a link to our Twitch channel in the description below. Feel free to stop by and ask us any questions, or just hang out and chat. Next week, we'll be working on a pair of old doors that we recently sold. Now that the seat is stabilized, we'll be applying single strands of the rush to the back of the chair, nailing them into place. He did this because the back of the seat is narrower than the front of the seat. If we were to skip this step and just start weaving, the end result would look uneven. Okay, here's a good shot of how the weave is applied. I'm going to be freezing the video so it's easier for you to follow along. First, he's going to nail down the beginning of the weave to anchor it into place. Now you can see that the strand is laying on top of the bar to the left. He's going to loop it under the left bar and then over the bar closest to him. All the while he's making sure that the strand is tight and firmly against the previous strand we pulled earlier. Then he's going to hand me the strand and I'm going to pull it to the opposite bar closest to me. I will then go over the bar and loop it under then over the bar to the left. We will be doing this over under process throughout the entire seat. After applying two strands, he measured the distance from the inside of the last strand that we applied to the front of the seat. You want to have them line up to form a perfect square. In this case, we needed one more strand to make it even. All the preparation is done and he's now nailing in the beginning of what will be the first of the long strands that will be continuously woven around the seat. Because this guy is going to start really hard for me. That's the first time I've seen you say I have to put a pair of gloves on. Oh, yeah, on, on this hand? Yeah. yeah. Why? It's like a bull. Now, having done this, I understand what he means. This material is rough on your hands, and since he's pulling the strand tight, it really starts to eat at your skin. Since he will be the one tightening the strand, I will be the one holding it in place. If I were to let go, the part of the strand he pulled tight would spring back and loosen. This is why my father always said this is easier with two people. It can be done with one person, but two makes it much easier. Every time I see my father and his team do this, it always looks like a dance to me. Over, under, over, under, across. Over, under, over, under, across. All the while they're spinning around the chair. I will admit, I do not like to dance, and this is a dance I never thought I would do. But here I am, trying not to stumble and fall. But after about four rotations, I really did start to get the hang of it. To make sure that the weave is tight, my father would stop every so often to press the strands tight together using a flathead screwdriver. Remember, this material is twisted into a string. The twist is in one direction, so as we're weaving it, the string will start to twist the wrong way, which will cause it to start to unravel. Every so often, my father will twist it back the right way before pulling it tight. This way, the string does not flatten out and stays rounded all the way through the weave. We have come to the end of the first strand and decided to take a break before we started on the next one. Tired already. <laughs> That's tiring. I hired this this person one time. He helped me. He works on construction. He works in construction. Yeah. You know, hard hands and hard work. Uh huh. And I said, can I? Can you help me uh, weave this? Year? So 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 uh, he helped me with one chair at the top. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Next day he just told me I couldn't sleep. 
my wife. hand. My hand was so spongy yeah, all night. My hand is. My <laughs> wife had to come and rub alcohol on me because my hand was like. Yeah, my hand is pulsing. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally. I was wondering what you were gonna get. What you were gonna come. What I was gonna complain about. Yeah. It's your hand. Look. You if you want to see the hand. difference, look at the color of this hand and look at the color of this one. Yeah, I see. You it. can see the red in my hand. Yeah. That thing hurts. I never knew that. This is the first time I've ever done this. Tell you, I didn't know glove? this hurt so bad. My glove? No, it's not the glove, man. <laughs> it's the pressure. The muscle. He cannot hold the glove because uh, no, you're going to get tangled on the, on the Yeah, my hand, the, my hand is going to get tangled. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me that something no, no. <laughs> I, I, I use the glove because I have to pull it. And yeah. It wears my hand. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. pull it. It's gonna, it dries your hand. It, it dries my skin and it gets, it gets a sore in my skin. Oh, there, that's better. So the pull, this is very hard material. Okay, time to continue on. My father will take the new strand and tie it to the first strand we pulled, making sure that the knot is on the bottom side of the weave. Now back to the dance. We have finally reached the end. I thought at this point we would completely be done, but my father wanted to go over and under one more time. So he's using the screwdriver again to make room for one last go around. Now that we're done, he needs to apply one final knot at the bottom to keep everything in place. A little bit of glue, just to make sure the knot never comes loose. One hour and 30 minutes later, here is the seat and the chair it belongs to. I really think it came out pretty well. Doing this with my father was an experience I will remember forever. Not only because I learned something new, but because my hand hurt really bad all night long. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and remember we stream every Saturday and Sunday on Twitch.tv. Thanks again everyone, take care, bye.